You guys, we have drums rolling. We have Ward. Hello, Ward. What's up, Tasha? What's up? What's up? What's up, Tasha? I'm fantastic. I mean, you, you, I don't know, you, what, what did you do? You had me dancing. Come on. Exactly. That was, that was the plan. That was the plan? That was the plan. So you didn't know I had it, I had it all planned out. <laughs> you guys, and he's biting his leaf here. Yeah. I had it all planned out. But anyway, and say I'm hi glad, to I'm my glad, people. I'm, I'm glad you were vibing, vibing to the song. That, that means a lot. Oh, I love What's it. What's up, everybody? What's up? No, I'm in, you, I'm in you, Tasha's you, world, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You, right. But anyways, you guys, what has been going on? Um, I don't know if you did see um, the story of the, the girl that begs on the street and this very popular... Um, comedian helped her out. He gave her about 600k, mm. only to find out that she's not a girl. She is a guy, or he is a guy. I don't even know what to well, say. I, mi- I missed that. Completely. You did? Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see it. Yeah, so it was everywhere last week on social media. So you know when you're just randomly driving on Lake Ekpe and then you see a hawker and you're just trying to help. You're like, yeah. okay, how much do you need? But I was generous though, 600k. Yeah, and okay. then he even posted her on his Instagram. He um, posted her account details and had people donating money to her, only to find out that someone had helped her a couple of months ago. Wow. Even when I had to rent the whole apartment for her, but she ditched it to get her on the streets to beg. Wow. Right? And I don't know if I should say the icing on the cake, but yeah, the icing on the cake of this story is the fact that she is not a girl, she is a guy. Wow. wow. Disguising. <laughs> To be a girl. <laughs> it's the background noise for me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you what do you what do you think about this really? Um, because that's why you see a lot of people are man to help. You know when what? you see stories like this. I feel like times are hard. And people are just doing anything and everything just to just survive day by day, to be honest. So like when it comes to Nigeria, you can't get too surprised on things that you see. You see a lot of things. And I right. feel like for me, like this is just like another story. Do you know what I'm saying? So Right, cool stuff. So we're just chatting before we went on air. Yeah. And yes, you talked about moving back to Nigeria in 2018. You guys, by the way, this is not an interview. We're just having fun just on yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. And yes, and then you guys, y'all can call in to say hi to Ward. Yeah. So yes, feel free. So go ahead, tell me. So, what made you want to come back to Lagos? No, for real. Like I, I was, I mean, I was gone for a long time. And to be honest, I did. If someone told me like seven years ago that I would be in Nigeria right now, I'd probably tell them like, you're lying. But for me, like, I was away from my family, my mom, my sisters for a long time. I started visiting slowly, and um, it just started making sense gradually. But pandemic was what made me really sit still. Right. You know, and I, 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 I mean, everybody, everybody around the world, nobody really knew what was go- going to happen. So for me, I just wanted to be around family. If the world was going to end, let me just deal. Abby, exactly. So because at that helped. point nobody was sure what was exactly. going on. Exactly. So that really helped me a lot to to sit still. And and you, to be honest, one of the most beautiful things. I'm closer to family, and I'm I'm grounded here. I'm creating music in yeah. Nigeria. It's affecting a lot of my choices as well. So. It's a beautiful thing, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. So you dropped this very beautiful body of art, Midnight Today. Yes. And it's tied to don't get used to it. Don't Why shouldn't we get used to the get EP? Used to this. Because it's it's like a message from the from the dealer, right? But to be honest, like um, this project just it's more about moments in time and being mm-hmm. being present in the now, right? But at the same time, I feel like every moment that we are, like as we're here right now, I'm here fully committed. I came on time. I don't want to waste your time. I'm here fully committed to have the best time. I have b- great conversations with you. But it's all about the moment and being being committed to it. But the minute this is done, we have to create new moments tomorrow. So I feel like it's all about just really being present in the now. Right. Yeah. Amazing. So you guys, all about being present in the now. And you can't get used to the now because it changes. Everything changes Exactly. Tomorrow. And change is the only constant thing. Absolutely. But yeah, you guys can call in and join in the conversation. The number is 0700 969 969 969. Call in and tell me what you think of all the very bubble story that was everywhere this week of the hawker that is a boy disguising to be a girl to beg people for money. What do you think about that? Do you do you understand? I understand everybody do need you help. You can tell sometimes totally. though. Like, if the person can't tell, like that, it must have been a really great disguise, like for real. 
Yeah, it was. It was a very great um, disguise. Yeah, in as much as you need cash, it's never okay to manipulate people and exactly. lie to them to exactly. get money out of them. Exactly. You giving should be out of your free will. Yeah. Not yeah. because you're trying to indirectly... But the, the, the world that we live in, we, I mean, it's, it's filled with manipulators, to be honest. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of people that really focus on just like, okay, I just need this opportunity now. They don't care about tomorrow. They don't care about seeing you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They don't care about having, thinking that things could turn around. They might need you tomorrow. It's about now. Exactly. Let's get right now. How like, much can I make today? Make, today, exactly. how can I cheat this person business. today? Today, that's today. In business. So it's everywhere, you know. Right. And not many people have integrity to be like, you know what? Ah, let's do this thing the right way. Let's and because tomorrow, you just never know who, who you're going to need. And mm. I think it's important, like. You actually could need somebody, so I feel like it's it should really push us to be more kind and and be more um, be think of other people before making harsh exactly. decisions. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. How much do you charge for a show? How much? You know do I what, charge? Maxine? I can't tell you that too. You know what, Maxine? Yeah. You know what, Maxine? Because Afro Nation got cancelled <laughs> yeah. this year, yeah. and some of the show promoters came out to say, "Oh, your A-list artist." Mm. Is charging outrageously in dollars. Yeah. You don't charge people in Canada in dollars. You're not coming to Nigeria to charge us in dollars too. How's that going to work? Do you get what I mean? What do you, what do you think about that? What do you make of it? I don't, see, I don't know how other people do their business. So for me, if I'm talking to you and we have a relationship, do you know what I'm saying to you? Like, I feel like things bend sometimes. If I want to do your show, we can always make it work somehow. Do you know what I'm saying? If, I think when people don't want to do your show, they would charge you outrageously just so that you don't even have a conversation with them. So I can't talk about other artists. It's very important because everybody does their business differently. I maintain the relationship of the people that I work with, the people that I respect their business because it's not just sometimes, it's not just about now because they might actually have something bigger for me tomorrow. Later, exactly. So it might make sense. So like there's always things that we consider before doing certain things. So it's not all, you know, do you know what I'm saying? It's business is business. Yeah. Business is business, quite understandable, right? But there's no big artist mm -hmm. that Nigerians did not push. You know how loud yeah. Nigerians are. Whether Absolutely. they're in Amsterdam, they're trying to find a goosey traditional <laughs> food, whether they're in London, you just know a Nigerian yeah. is here. And we literally pushed this Afrobeat. We made Absolutely. it we made it interesting to the people fans, outside Nigeria. DJs, do you get what I mean? The fans, the DJs, shout out to the DJs, shout out to the fans. To be honest, like people be like, yo, you need to listen to this person. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Like for me, I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have a real success in my career until people started referring my music to people. Do you know what I'm saying to you? It was different. I, I was in America doing, working with Bob. I was writing for Mario. I was working with like Timberland and all these people. Despite all these songs I was doing, people didn't know who I was then. But I was in the system in America. It was not until I did like show you off of some certain songs, but I would wake up and see like hundreds of messages in my my DM, right? First time. And people would be like, yo, I just sent you, someone sent me a song. My girl played me your record. It's people that really, really pushes us. Exactly. So that, that, that brings, exactly. So that brings me to what I'm trying to get you to understand. Yeah. So we just get into this, um, how, we're, how we're supposed to really. So what I'm trying to say is, now when you charge in dollars and you make it so extravagantly expensive, mm -hmm. how do you expect the fans over here in Nigeria to be able to afford those tickets? Yeah, because I if mean, the show promote, if you're if the, if you're charging them so much and they're paying you so much, it means the ticket needs to be high, yeah. and that's why our foundation was cancelled. You don't think as an artist, even though it's business business, at least just put the fans into consideration at least. Yeah, like I, different different business, different scenarios, different tours, different goals. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? And also the purchasing power. Absolutely. For the fact you grew Absolutely. up in Atlanta, you totally yeah, understand. Yeah, it's yeah. different. It's different. So I mean, like, I can't really. See, everybody does their business differently. For me, it's just really about just really focusing and just doing my business the right way and making sure I maintain certain relationships that are important to me as well. Cool yeah. stuff. So what made you want to do music? I couldn't really see myself doing anything. I have a master's degree. I actually moved to, to America to study. And I have, like, I have a master's degree in IT. But while I was in college, I would always go like do talent shows, um, go spend time in studios and try to find my way around music was just like a calling it was something i couldn't really get myself away from but i'm so grateful that i finished college and that was great that i did for my my parents and you know music was just a calling for me all right and besides it being a calling everything else you have to learn you have to learn to perfect what you want to do so you can actually be able to compete 
It is, it's so, comp it's a very competitive Exactly. Space. So I'm not sure mm -hmm. what version I heard, if it was the original version or a cover to the original song. But do you know that song I'm talking about? What song are you talking about? Hmm, I'm trying to see. <laughs> what is that song? Go, oh, Lord, 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 Lord. I don't even know blow what song. Blow my mind, blow. I don't you know, know what, so. Because I was, I, do I, I was in the house, yeah. like I was in a reality show in 2019. So yeah. I was in there mm -hmm. when the song blew up. Blow uh, my mind, blow my mind. Yeah. And then last week on Twitter, we heard your version. And I'm like. Okay. That was that was that was not. Is that the original that a, version? That was an original. That was the original demo. Oh. Um, I, I heard that as well. I just didn't pay attention to it because I, I don't I don't get myself um, in in social media. I tried my best to stay away from it. It's so distracting. I, I think it was because people loved that version because I listened to it and it was sick. And I'm like, Thank okay, you. if this is the cover of the original song, why isn't it? That out? was that was like that was the the day I wrote the song and it was just like vibing. That was. With, without so the did beats. you sell it? Um, it's a different conversation. There's nothing you wrong know, in it's, selling. It's a, everybody buys see, music. Here's the thing. Here's the Rihanna thing. bought a song from Tem, so here's everybody does here's, buy music. Is it that uh, that particular song is a different situation? We don't need to talk about that. Let's keep the, let's keep the love and everything going. Yeah. All right, cool stuff. Yeah. Loyalty or money? Lo loyalty or money? Yes, like that. exactly. Like that. Yeah. What? What do you think? Yeah. Loyalty, family. O over money. Over yeah. Money. Loyalty, family. So you, you know? say no to a million? Yes, yes. You know, I work hard and I'll make that. They make the million, like, you, we're all going to die then. The yeah. Day. Yeah, but we're going to be alive for a couple of years before yes. we die, But though. the thing about like, it is, like, see... <laughs> well, 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 let, let, let's do though. this to mathematical. Let's use this mathematical have you sense seen now. People, have you seen people that actually win um, lottery and, like, just go buy some crazy stuff and before you know it, that's it. The money is gone. And no, actually, like... Just buy a um, bike and just fall on bike and before you know it, you can't even enjoy the money. Actually, wow. When you put it like that. Okay. I'm about to run back to you, Ward. Oh, yeah, no. What's your favorite song from your EP? Um, don't get used to it. Shake? Oof. You know what? Shake today. Today. This moment, shake. Shake. That's what you're pushing. It, yeah, you know what? Because by the time I get into the car, being in a different mood and I have options. There's another song on there called Melanin Rhythm. It just embraces just black woman beauty. So yeah. what did you have in mind when you sang Shake? Because you showed me a video and this girl was shaking her bum. And I said, I, okay. Actually, like, I just... and, I, and I said, Ward must have a type. So I have a Am type? Am I your type? Are you my type? Yeah. Because I'm sure you had your, your type in mind when you sang Shake. I don't have a type. I know my type when I see my type. <laughs> Because <laughs> it ch it's changed over time. I can't believe saying? you guys are nodding. Right? What do you understand now that you're nodding? <laughs> exactly, right? I wouldn't even say anything. <laughs> okay, I feel like I, I know my type when I see it. Definitely. You know. Two stuff. So being in Lagos since 2018, yeah. how many girlfriends do you have? Your fans ask that. You're asking if you're in a relationship and if you're preparing a wedding. It's so funny. I'm preparing a wedding. But I do have the screenshot. For real? Yeah, Wait, what? Preparing a wedding. All right, you guys. No, no, put put a camera in my face. All right, you guys. The Ward is right here on the Big Friday show and he has just admitted and he has given us exclusive news that he is planning a wedding. Live and direct, um, 7.31 p.m. <laughs> Tasha, <laughs> right here on the Big Friday show. <laughs> Love you. All right. Amazing. So, when, when, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing Where should we expect this wedding? No, well, you just get an invitation now. Lovely. You know, I'm actually like a very like, you know, private person, you know? Like, I feel like I'm one of those people, like, people just like, yo, the okay, world is married. Like, oh shit, yeah. Mm. Yeah. For real? I'm one of those people. Like, so you could be in a seven-year-old relationship and we wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I don't, I really, I don't put myself out there like that. Uh -uh. Just the music. Yeah, like, I feel like, I feel like people have really seen world in the music space. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just looking at your sexy lips. I don't uh, understand what you're saying. Uh, well, I don't have my time to watch your music videos. Yeah. And it's just always dip. Do you get what I mean? And I know for a creative, it's not mm. exactly always the producer's idea. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? I mm -hmm. know you definitely do have some type of input, about 70% or 60. Yeah. How do you come up with those deep visuals and ideas and they just come out so clean and very beautiful? Um, really, to be honest, like me and my brother, he's here in the studio. We yes, hi. My creative director. We, from day one, all my videos, from "Show You Off" to "Trouble" to everything, like we literally just sit together and drive each other crazy. Wow. Trying to find ways to 
present something complex in a simple way at the same time. Wow. <laughs> God have mercy. Something complex, but in a simple way. No. <laughs> complex means you think about it, you try to find different ways to make get the art across, but still you don't want it to be too complicated. Like sometimes art could be too complicated and you miss people with it. So it's really just intentional. About right. really just trying to just do something different. Because um, I always say this, like, I feel like I'm so blessed. A lot of people, the first time they saw me was um, for my song, Show You Off, right? And that was special. That was, that was intentional. The visual, the approach, the song. That was my first time trying to fuse my sound with Afrobeats ever in my life. Yeah. That was my first attempt. So for me, even the visual and everything, like, people appreciated it because it was different from everything in the market at the time. So it's, it's about just inspiring. Like, I grew up... Um, inspired by artists that try and do something different from the norm so that's kind of like my dna mm, right lovely stuff do you have a dream collab who's that artist you you're looking at featuring or they featuring you in your song uh coldplay okay We're amazing amazing lovely. band um I would say um, Kanye in the musical space, mm -hmm. uh, Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I have a I have a long. I list think of you and Kendrick that, would bang. Like, yeah, I think so yeah. too. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Are you like, guys working towards it? You know what? I'm working towards a lot of things, and I just want to. I just want to just. I want people to see it. Like you can't, especially when you're working through, towards some certain things. Like I feel like you need to let it happen before people see it. So like yeah. So exactly. Definitely in the near future is gonna be a lot of. I've not done a lot of collaborations. Um, a lot of them are not out. A lot of them are in their bag, just waiting to just the right time in for, for us to release them. So I've just been really just creating a lot of magic behind the scenes. And I can't wait to get to that point where everything aligns to get these songs out. Mm, nice. Because it's a timing thing. Like, when you do collaborations, it's so much of timing. You have to make sure the other artists and the, that team and everybody is ready to support. and Exactly, and, and everyone is on the same track. Exactly. And this, this particular um, project, there, I had some features that I wanted people to hear already, but the timing just that did not work out. So it's still going to happen in the very near future. So we should just chill, Abby. We, should, exactly. we shouldn't be stressed. Exactly. Amazing. So yeah, it's just, just, this is just another, this project is another, another stage. It All right. The journey continues, yeah. All right, cool stuff. Has, has anybody told you you're very you're, you're a crazy guy? I'm a crazy guy? Yeah, because I'm, I'm telling you right now. What were you thinking about your song, Sweet in the Middle? What middle? What's, what's sweet? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. That was, but you know what? I felt like it was a necessary conversation. <laughs> conversation in the music. <laughs> yes, no. No, to be honest, like, it was, honestly, I was just having a good time in the studio. Like, when I was creating that, shout out to Sheezy again, and, um... It was fun creating that song, to be honest. I was just vibing. But the funny thing about it was that Sheezy, shout out to Sheezy, shout out to DeVito, because Sheezy knew that Wald would not put the song out. Hmm. <laughs> the word he knows, right? Yeah, because I actually did two songs in the studio that day when I was with him. Um, there's another called, song called Story. It was on my Afro Soul project. Mm. So that was more of a soul, and I was working on the Afro Soul project then. Sweet in the Middle was very playful, almost like street vibes, but I was just having a good time, right? And he knew that I was not going to put the song out. And he called the video. The video was like, yo, Ward did this one song. And I know he's going to put it on his laptop, right? Exactly. And, and the video hit me up like, yo, Ward, let's do this song together. And that's how the record came about. Yeah. And it was sick. And so, I'm, yeah, I'm, well, I'm glad. Shout out to that one. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to David. Shout out video, to. Yeah. Shout out to everyone on that record. And, exactly. Yeah, that made it. Beautiful that times. Yes, yes, yes. So I need you in 10 seconds to just say something great to your listeners because we have about 40 seconds to go off. Shout out to everyone watching um, the Tatcha show. I'm here in her world just chilling. Thank you so much for having me. It's all love, always. And make sure you go stream the EP. Yeah, my new project, Don't Get Used to This, is out right now. Tasha. tell them to make it exactly. number one. Exactly. Don't make it get one. used to it. You guys go stream it and make it number one.